going down we've got an epic sunset going on here in Blackpool but that's not what this video is about this video is about the Himiway A7 Pro and this has just been released as I film this video in mid-April 2024 it's an all new e-bike and they very kindly sent it to me to do a video on as you can see it's it's a nice color it's black and it kind of goes into white there this is a really really amazing e-bike now i have done a couple of e-bikes before and this one i think is probably the best one it's got so many features on it now i'm in the uk of course and this is spec for the uk all e-bikes in the uk can give pedal assist so you put your feet on the pedals you turn the pedals and it gives you assistance up to 15.5 miles an hour UK spec that's as fast as you can go with the assistance after that the power cuts out and then you're on your own now the motor on this e-bike is actually here in the crank here where the pedals are a bit different to the last bike that I reviewed where the motor was actually in the wheel so this bike is quite different uh, to, to the last one that I did review and something else about this bike as well which I think is really really good it's actually got air suspension it's got front and back suspension and you see I don't know if you can see this little red thing here that's a dust cap so you can actually take that off you can put, put air into it or you can let air out and the suspension on this is absolutely amazing it's got 27 inch wheels and it's also got this um, rack on the back so you can it's, this would make an ideal commuter e-bike it's more like a sort of sensible kind of bike I'm going to go through some of the features a bit more later in the video this is just like a, a, a an introduction to it I'm going to take you on a bit of a ride we're going to have a little ride up and down here we're down here on lower walk in blackpool check out the tower there you know we've got the north pier over there i just want to turn the camera around and show you the view towards the north we've got a cracking view of the lake district just just check this out folks wow and over there we can see quite clearly the hills of the english lake district just look at that isn't it amazing the tide is coming in the Hemiway A7 Pro electric commuter bike is 2399 UK price, but you can get a whole £200 off with my discount code WILDSIDE200. Link in the description. I'll tell you what I want to do now. I'm going to put a video, a very quick time lapse video, of setting this bike up. It came in a big box but it was very, very easy to put together. There was only a couple of bits you needed to put on, the front wheel and the handlebars. That was pretty much all we had to do. I had some help from Frank in Blackpool, who, who very kindly helped us to put the bike together. So here's a time lapse of us setting this bike up. It took us, how long it took us? I'd say it took us less than an hour we, we took our time a little bit and it took us an hour to put it together but it was very very easy to put together it was also very very well packed up so let's check out this time lapse So there you go that was a quick time lapse of us putting the bike together and uh, here we have the bike now there's just a couple of other things i want to to show you before i have a little ride on it so if we have a look up here we have the integrated uh, display it's actually built into the the fork mount of the bike which is a bit different to some of them because most of the electric bikes you have you have the the display on the top somewhere and as you can see this we've got the display here it's asking for a password i don't know why <laughs> um well, let's try this let's see if this works ah we've got it there you go so that's that's the display there i've changed it to miles an hour because it was in kilometers now and i'm not really too sure about kilometers an hour 
you change the uh, the power it's got five power settings with the up and down plus and minus button there so can you see there we go one two three up to five and five is the maximum power assist that you can get from this bike so something else i want to show you as well if you have a look here we've got this thing here it's got abus now that is actually a wheel lock built into the bike how about that so you put the key in there you put the key in there and it swings around a bar that comes up to here and it actually locks the wheel so how about that that's amazing that isn't it you know i can't get over that view of the lake district over there but i just want to quickly show you the seat because this has got what they call i think it's what they call a dropper and you know those chairs that you can adjust with the handle up and down look at that there it's like magic isn't it you can actually adjust the seat like that with that that handle there yeah so this seat is really really good all you have to do is flip that hand there's not a whole lot of range actually it's almost at the bottom there it's actually set for me there and that's the range it's not like a massive range to to do it but it does work really well and now what i find with this seat the only problem i find with this seat is that if you are quite sure you might have a problem with this dropper type of seat because you've got this thing down here you see if you were to put a normal seat on here you wouldn't have all that there and you'd be able to have the seat a bit lower but for me it works pretty well i'm about six foot one six foot two something like that and having the seat set down to there works for me but it might not be very good if you're quite short you might need to have a normal seat on it well the sun is going down now here in blackpool it's just gone behind a cloud i don't know if you can tell there's a cloud there when it comes out of that cloud everywhere is going to light up in a really really nice light so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get on the bike now and we'll have a little ride now you might notice i'm not wearing a helmet i forgot my bike helmet i'm afraid so it's my bad but i'm not riding on the road i'm just going to be riding up and down the promenade here and i'm not going to be going too fast so hopefully you let me off for that so let's get on the bike now and we'll have a little ride up and down here it's a nice place to, to ride your bike Blackpool we've got a massive long promenade as you can see you can ride your bike all the way along here and you can ride it all the way up there all the way up to Fleetwood if that's what you want to do so anyway I'm going to get on the bike now and uh, let's give it a bit of a ride around shall we okay here we go I've got no power at the moment <laughs> I'm just riding this bike with no assistance but I'm going to stick it on to level one and I can feel a bit of power coming now yes I can feel a bit of power I'm going to go up to two. Oh, I can feel that it's a very smooth transition as well I have to say compared to the last bike that I did this has got a very smooth transition of power from that motor in the middle so I'm just riding now along this is lower walk and uh, we're now up to level four and I'm gonna go all the way up to the top level here we go I'm doing about 12 miles an hour I can feel that power coming now whoa we're at level five now I'm riding into the wind here as well but it's it's effortless I've just changed gear as well just to give us the right okay so we're now into I think I'm into about seventh gear I can't, can't tell as you can see this is a great place to ride your bike and I'm riding into the wind but that motor is making this this ride quite easy you know it's not good it's not fun riding into the wind is it but when you've got a when you've got an e-bike giving you that assistance it really really helps
So there you go, we had a little ride around Blackpool Promenade here and uh, that was a good little test folks, it's not over yet. The sun is now setting, we're losing the light and what I'll do is I'll come back out again tomorrow, I'll get back on the bike and what I want to do is I want to give it a bit of a hill test, see how it performs on the hills and I also want to test out this amazing suspension just look at this when i sit on the bike now just look at that air suspension there you can adjust it you can adjust it for your weight as well i've not touched it but you can adjust it front and back of course what i'll probably do is we'll go over some bumps i'll probably take it off road and we'll see how it performs off road it's not strictly an off-road bike but i think it can certainly go off road so we'll be trying that out tomorrow so uh, there you go let's see how it does on the next test that i will be doing tomorrow Ooh. oh oh now then check it out it's another day folks we ran out of light last night, so I've come back again here and I'm now just outside the famous Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So what I wanted to talk about now was a bit more about the, the features. Like I said, the, the, the motor for this bike is actually in the crank and it's a torque motor. It actually recognises the torque that you're putting on the pedals and the gears that you're in and it actually delivers the power dependent on the situation so if you're going up a hill it'll deliver more power and also um, depending on what gear you're in as well depends on the amount of power and it's a very very smooth transition of power the the motors that are in the middle tend to be better than the ones in the hub from what i've heard and i also want to mention of course i forgot to mention the other day disc brakes of course hydraulic disc brakes and those are quite big disc brakes those yeah shimano of course shimano disc brakes we've also got a light on the front as well i mentioned the rack we've got a built-in built-in tail light into the into the rack it also has a brake light on it as well so when you pull the brake the light comes on at the back and that's a really really good safety feature so and i think Again, I'll also mention that it's got nine gears. So it has nine gears. If I just turn it round. Sorry about this. Can you see we've got nine cogs here? It goes up to a very, very high gear, actually. Yeah, uh, that cog down there is really, really small. So if you're flying along at top speed, I like to cruise at about between 12 and 15 miles an hour it's close to the limit where it cuts out it cuts out at about 15 15 and a half miles an hour which is i think really is um it's a de it's a decent speed you're not going too fast i find if i go too fast i get a little bit scared but uh, yeah but that that is the law in the uk they can't go over 15.5 um, miles per hour using the assisted motor you also cannot use a throttle you can get throttles for these which goes somewhere here the throttle uh, you can't use a throttle in the uk on an e-bag on the road okay you might also notice that i've got my helmet on i've been a good boy i've remembered to bring my helmet on you must always wear a helmet don't be like me yesterday not wearing a helmet i was a bit naughty but i've got my helmet on now what i want to do is do a quick test of the suspension so we'll get on it and by the way i also forgot to mention that it's a step through bike so you actually step through it it's kind of like you know the design of the the ladies bikes so this is what they call a step through design so i'm going to head over to some steps just over there and we'll see how this suspension um works now i haven't done anything to the suspension i've not touched it or anything it's all default but you can adjust it to your weight okay here we go i'm going to ride up these two steps here that didn't work very well did it i'm going to go down them it's i don't like going up them 
Um, I'll feel much better going down, so I'll go around it and then go down. Okay, so let's see how it handles these steps. I did try going up the steps, but <laughs> I didn't feel very <laughs> good about it. So how did that look? So here we go again. And, and like I say, I did try to go up the steps, but <laughs> it was a little bit too scary. What do you think? So it's got air suspension as well. You see that there? That's a dust cap. So if you take that off, you can put a, a bike pump on it and pump the suspension up. Oh, yeah, I've got that mod con as well, look. Yeah. <laughs> the stand looks similar. I've got the stand. Yeah, I've got the stand. I just want to give it another test now and that is I want to try going up a hill with it. Now there's no hills near where I am now but there is a railway bridge that we can go up and it's uh, it's quite a quite an incline on it and we'll 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 head up there and we'll see how the motor helps me to get up a bridge. How scenic is this? You can see Blackpool Pleasure Beach over there. So I'm on this railway bridge and I'm going to cycle down the railway bridge, which won't be a problem because we all like riding downhill, don't we? But what's it going to be like coming up? It should be quite effortless. Yeah. Let's try it out. You'll also be able to see that I've got my light on. So we've got a front and back light, of course. Look at that there. Look how bright that is. It's really, really bright. It says on there, Bouchelle. So that's the brand of the light. So anyway, I'm going to ride off into the sunset now, but I will be back. You get to see the the light as well because the sun's gone down. I'm now at the bottom of the of the, the bridge and I'm now gonna make the turn to come back up and I'm in I'm actually in quite a high gear. I'm in seventh gear and funny enough um, I'm just pedalling along in number three and I'm making my way up this hill. No bother at all. All I've got to do is just keep those pedals turning. And I can go up a level to to level four if I want and I get a little bit more power but yeah this is the wind's coming at me as well you know and uh, the only effort is you put in keeping the pedals going round there you go well it's getting pretty dark now and uh, it's lighting up town look at that there that <laughs> that light on the front that bouchelle light is so bright and obviously we've got the tail light as well and there's also a bright light on there as well and i think that we have given this hemiway a7 pro e-bike a really really good test remember it's got the motor in the crankshaft it's what they call a mid mounted motor there not in the wheel as you see on on some some e-bikes I've just got a bit of a sum up to do, so I'll do that in the next scene. I will see you there. Okay, so I'm now back at home again. This is where I put the bike together. Remember, I am not an expert on e-bikes, but I am learning fast. There might have been some things that I missed before, so I'll just go over them in this sum up at the end of this video, just to make sure you know everything you need to know about this amazing Himiway A7 Pro Step through step through e-bike i've got to get that in step through yeah so i'll just show you the instructions uh, this is the instruction manual here we've got an instruction manual here and it's uh, very understandable as well you can you can understand the instructions quite well we had no problem putting the bike together at all so it tells you everything about the the bike in there the specifications all that sort of thing battery maintenance i'll show you the battery as well uh, it's a massive battery the battery actually goes just in here i'll show you that in a second but i just want to show you the um the tool kit you also get a tool kit you do not need any extra tools to put this bike together we have this thing here which is like a multi-tool thing there with loads of allen keys on it and spanners and that sort of thing yeah this is the actual charger that you need to charge the battery up it takes about six to seven hours if you want to charge the battery from empty so it does take a while to charge the battery but um that that's if you're running it down to empty but it's not advisable to actually run the bike down to empty they say they say don't run it any less than 10 percent before you charge it up again just behind me is the box there's a the box <laughs> isn't that a massive box it's like it's like when you get one of those widescreen tvs isn't it yeah 
but it was very very well packaged in that box so what i'll do is i'll just straighten it up again now and i'll just go over some things for you that i might have missed before so i did i didn't talk about the battery the battery actually goes in here and you have a key to to unlock the battery now it doesn't just come flying out as soon as you turn the key it actually drops to a certain level and then you have to turn the key again you have to push it in to release the battery and now we have the battery and i tell you something this battery it actually weighs that has some serious weight to it that is one big battery but that you can actually charge the battery off the bike I'll show you where you, ch you actually charge the battery on the bike. Yeah, actually there's a charging point just on the other side of that key there. On this side, I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I will put that battery back in again because that is very, very heavy. So let's put that back in there. That will snap back into place. I'll just leave the keys there for a second. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's have a look at that charging point because I was just talking about that, wasn't it? So if you want to charge the battery on the bike, which probably most people would do, you just pull that cover off there and you use that charger which i showed it in the box stick it into there and leave it for as long as it needs to charge there's a red light on the charger when it's charging it turns to green when it's fully charged up so that's how you charge it let's go over some other bits i didn't really go into a whole lot of detail about the gears did i so you've got um we've got gears here the lever it, it goes up to nine we have a uh a panel there which shows you how what gear you're in now i tend to have the gears in a certain i tend to have it on fifth or sixth or something like a medium gear and i don't really tend to shift gears very much but you shift down with this one here with like the thumb paddle there and if you want to shift up a gear you use that there there we've got a bell as standard all bikes must come with a bell in the uk as you can see here we've got the light very very bright light that is the brakes i think i mentioned about the brakes these are hydraulic brakes shimano hydraulic brakes absolutely awesome and don't forget about that amazing suspension that front the front suspension with its 120 millimeter it's really over the top actually for a commuter bike remember this is a commuter bike it's meant for riding on the road it's not meant for riding off-road but with that kind of suspension there you certainly can ride this just look at that suspension on the back there they have spared no expense with this bike the price of this bike uk is 2399 pounds and i'll put a link in the description to where you can get one for yourself now i think that price is actually really really good you know i did a, a bike last year it was a cube bike now that was very very basic and that was a that had a price of 2700 and it didn't even have suspension on it so when you look at all the features this bike's got i think that that price is actually really really good and don't forget we've also got this um rack at the back with these built-in straps here that you can just put your shopping on there the lock as well we also have a wheel lock this here the wheel lock you just turn that key there and then that enables you to put the bar across and you then got yourself a wheel lock on the back now i would not trust that wheel lock on its own i would like to have a separate lock on it attaching the bike to something physical rather than just rely on that wheel lock but but it's there anyway it's it's just another it's just another addition to to the bike and i'll just turn the back around again sorry because i just want to show you again i think one of the main things about this bike is obviously the suspension really really stands out but also the mid mounted motor that is where the pedals are that for me is well it's probably the most important thing about this bike and it's probably one of the reasons why it's the price it is because these motors that you get the mid mounted motors I think I think they're generally considered to be the best and they also give you a certain amount of power that you need remember it's a torque power now sometimes when you shift gear as well you'll notice when you're riding this particular bike that the the the, the power that comes from the motor can change a little bit depending on 
on, on what gear you're in. I found that out myself. A little bit different to other bikes where it's you get the power and you have all that power, but some, it can be a little bit sudden, it can be a bit too much. Whereas this one, it delivers it in in like stages. You get you get like a like a gradual sort of. It doesn't take you by surprise if you know what I mean. And that's I think that that's the way that these these torque motors work. And that is a very very good motor. And uh, there you go. I think that pretty much covers everything really. And don't forget, I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can get one for yourself. And that was the Hemiway a7 pro step through commuter bike an absolutely amazing bike i'm really looking forward to getting out and riding this bike along blackpool promenade like i have already and uh yeah summer's coming so it's a great time to be out riding bikes and remember having that electric assistance it it just makes it so much easier when you're riding into the wind or say when you're riding up a hill or something like that and uh, so that's going to come in really really handy anyway i hope you liked this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one